I know that you put out a letter, which I have here with me, which are very critical of the European strategy. And you say that it's been slow, that the uh, procurement has been mismanaged, and this is undermining public faith in uh, the European citizens. You're addressing this to the head of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen. So I wonder, have you had a response from the Commission as to why this is so slow? No, we haven't had uh, we haven't had yet. Uh, indeed, it's a very very disappointing situation. Um, we are relying right now still on on only one manufacturer. The EMA MI needs to approve more. The countries have been very slow themselves on the rollout. Uh, all of these things are, are are important. But it's also true that uh, some of what uh, Europe is doing is is penny wise pound foolish. We we spend enough uh, to to acquire. A few hundred million when we really need uh, to, to get to a one billion dose. Uh, it's, it's the case that with six, seven vaccines, with a six, seven vaccine portfolio, we will get there, but that will take the entire year. And we don't have that time. So we need to solve the manufacturing uh, bottlenecks. We need to solve the approval bottlenecks. And we need to solve the distribution bottlenecks. All of those three issues are urgent. Right. And, and, and I was wondering if you could just help me understand something which uh, really baffles me. And it's this idea that at this point, the Pfizer vaccine is the only one that's approved for public use. Why is the commission not buying more of this? The, the, um, the, what was the head of, uh, of Pfizer uh, said, uh, no, the Ugo Sahin, uh, the, the head of BioNTech, said was that he really faces manufacturing uh, bottlenecks. So it's really, he really needs all the vaccines to, to fill in the hole, he said. So there is, we have 300 million there. We would need to buy more if possible. But the main issue is the approval indeed. We need to, we need to move faster with the approval of the other vaccines. Um, Israel has been a big example, as, as, as was said before, for everybody. And um, I think that the EMA needs to realize that now it's, it's a question of, of, of thousands of lives per day that we are delayed, of, of hundreds of millions of euros uh, in, in, in losses and employment losses, et cetera, per day that this is delayed. And this is not acceptable. We have to deal with this as if it was a war operation. And money doesn't have to be an object. And, and I think it maybe has been too much of it in July. Right. And uh, before we move into the regulator, I just, just to put a final question on this, uh, there's been a lot of speculation that perhaps one of the issues here was that the commission was careful to balance different pharma companies, different nationalities, and perhaps they didn't want to upset uh, the French, that they didn't want to favor German labs over French ones. Is that the impression that you get? I don't want to get you to speculate. I know it's sensitive, but you know this conversation is happening. Yes, I have had uh, people say that, but I haven't really seen any evidence that that the purchases of, of, of the Pfizer uh, BioNTech was held back because of the Sanofi French vaccine, etc. I, I hope not. I know each country always lobbies for their own manufacturers, and that's as far as it goes, that's fine. But the job of the Commission, of course, is to ensure that we have a European strategy, not a national strategy. And if that was the reason, that would be very, very disappointing. The truth is, Europe exited 2020 having acted very well with vaccines, with the recovery plan, etc., we had a good 2020 for Europe. Um, and it's a pity to start 2021 with, this, with these problems. Right. And the market today is uh, focused on the EMEA and the uh, decision on Moderna. I know the regulator is independent, but how likely is it that we get it approved today? I would hope that the modern approval is as fast as possible. It has to be based on the on the scientific evidence, but we have all seen the the research has, that has been coming out also with approval in other places, and it, it looks like it should be a clear cut decision. It's also an mRNA uh, the, based vaccine, which, uh, according to scientists, uh, is is the same platform. It should, I hope, it should be rolled out really, really quickly. And as you know, there's been criticism that the European regulator, for some reason, seems to be slower than that in the UK and then that in the United States. The regulator in Europe says they're doing all they can. So would you say the criticism is fair? I think that uh, when, when we have talked and asked, uh, the, the, the answer we have gotten is, look, we have to be careful with our citizens that they realize and they perceive this as a very fair and clear and transparent project uh, process. And I think that's, that's fair enough. You don't want the anti-vaxxers crowd who are misinformed and trying to create all sorts of noise 
to have any reason to make these noises. But uh, I still think, on the balance, that consideration, you know, the anti-vaxxers are going to make noise no matter what you do. And, and in this case, the priority should be to, to be sure that um, the safe vaccine is deployed aggressively and fast.